Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eastern or Lizzie, and we're on Nature Craft SMP. Um, this is episode four, and today we're going to kind of just go over the next quest. I've kind of already done it, so I'll just show you what I did after. But you guys did great on your last quest. It was rather challenging, even for me. On to the next quest, quest number three. This quest is super simple. You must complete one task. Task, build a shop or stand at spawn. Remember, it has to be nature themed. Yes, food stores are allowed, AKA meat. Wood stores are allowed. And I happened to build a leaf shop and it is built. So we'll go to spawn and show you that. Is my food done? Oh, I don't have any levels to get back. Um, oops, <laughs> I didn't think that through. I already got my prize too, because Mandy switches off the quest on Mondays and I'm recording this on a Monday. And so I wanted to just make sure I got the prize and stuff before. But so the prize is eight candles, some veggie burgers and a scarecrow. And for the scarecrow, where should I put it? Um, can it go right here? I don't think it can. There. He's questionable, but we love him anyway. So I guess we're just going to run to spawn. Because <laughs> I don't have levels to get there. But we can go to spawn and show you guys around the shop. It's not completely done yet. I still have to stock the shop and I need to build the little counter area. So we could probably do that when I'm there. Actually, I kind of took all my building materials back to my home and I dropped them off. But I left all, not all, I left a lot of like, Mm, quite a few things there so hopefully it's enough for me to do the little counter area I knew I won't be able to make the hoppers because I have seven iron total <laughs> I need to do a mining trip very badly let's continue upwards and okay so the book said the shop was a simple quest and I guess it was simple but as someone who likes building I was very indecisive on how I wanted to build it and I had no plans and like the wood I have around me is like super dark wood and I had like nether brick from the nether trip last episode and so I was like well I guess I could do that but like I feel like around my house area is going to be a lot of like dark colored themed builds so I wanted my shop at spawn to be like not dark but then that left the question okay if it's not dark what am i using i'm gonna pick up this coal that way i can get back to my home without running and so of course me being extra i was going through um the blocks we have and i decided i wanted white sandstone i'm sorry if you hear my dog by the way but white sandstone spawns at only one biome. That biome <laughs> was 5,000 blocks away from my home. So I went there and I was just um, using a shovel to get as much sand as I could. Oh my God, my dog won't stop barking. But I was getting as much sand as I possibly could to bring back with me and I was there for a good while just getting sand and one piece of sand or one piece of sandstone needs for sand and so I filled up it wasn't this big of a backpack at the time I upgraded my backpack but it was a much smaller bag but it still had some space but I filled it up with sand completely and then I made it into sandstone and I only had five stacks total. And so like I tried to like be smart and do some math to figure out how much sandstone I would need to 
build a shop of a certain size with. And so, like, I did that. And then I realized when I got all the way back, guys, this was, like, this was a very long trip. But I realized when I got back, um, I only counted, like, the interior block. So, like, if you're in the place, I counted, like, the flooring. Like, the width and length of the floor and not the actual wall and so that increased the number quite a bit <laughs> and I ran out of, of sandstone so I ended up having to rethink my design choices Ooh, there's another one of the members we can look through um, other people's shops I know not most people have done but this is my shop so, as I said, I didn't want a dark theme, and so I went for, like, a white and blue theme. The blue was decided by the fact that Mandy had a blue shop. Um, I didn't want something that was gonna, like, totally, like, clash with her build. And so, like, I had some cherry wood, and I thought about it, but, like, I didn't want to use, like, that bright red wood when Mandy had magic wood. But so, here's my shop, and did I? I thought I had a sign there. I guess I broke it. But as I said, I still need to do the place for where the counter is, which is probably going to be just right here. Um, and when I mentioned earlier about how I miscounted, like I said, I counted these. And so, I had a 7 by... how big is this? I think that's 7 by 5. 7 by 5, I counted that way as if the walls would be on these. And I didn't want it that way. I wanted the walls like back a block, which is what I ended up doing. And so it took more sandstone than I thought it would. This is all the leaves I have so far. I'm not open yet. I need to put a sign that says work in progress. But that's all I have here right now. And then this was some blocks to build with, which I'll use those to make a little counter. And then we can go up here. And this is my little shop area where I'm going to have the leaves at. Which I know is kind of overkill with how many chests I have. Because there's even more up here. But I just... I could go with the option of just putting all the leaves into one chest and saying... Um, just per stack give me blah blah blah. But I might do it for like a rarity of the leaves. So like possibly... I don't know, but hang on, let me just search leaves real quick. But look at these pretty colors. So I, I might put maybe like the basic Minecraft leaves to a chest or like a few chests, like maybe split them up into three different chests. Um, put these all in either their own or combine them with like two per chest. And then there is also, um, leaf carpets where are they um I don't know what they're called hang on let me flip through real quick I sure I don't skip over them right here yeah um leaf carpets which those are pretty cute and so I'll sell those too I think those are the only ones Um, double checking. Yeah, okay. But that's the plan. I'm not sure how much I'm going to sell them for. I know it's not going to be that much because leaves are fairly easy to get. Because it's literally just shears and yeah. But I'm also considering um, maybe adding flowers to my shop as well. I don't have any flowers though and that's the only issue. And so... It might be a cause a problem with that. I feel like my game's lagging. I'm really sorry if it is. <laughs> but as you see, it's Mandy's shop. It's really cute. I like her blog palette. Um, and then I know there's other shops built. None down there. Okay. Here is April Dream Shop, which her shop is so cute. It's literally adorable. But she has all kinds of stuff put away in here. And then here's her little um, shop area. 
I don't think she's open yet because people can't really throw stuff in there because I don't think she has hoppers set up. She might. I'm not entirely sure. And then here's Will's shop in progress. There is a iron hoe on the windows up there, which is pretty cool. And there's one more shop, if I believe. Oh, oops. Okay, um. Okay, traveling villager. But, and then there is this person's shop. Koopy's meat shop, which is a work in progress. I'm just going to peek through the window. But, oh, spruce chest looks actually really cute. Okay. Interesting. Let's go back over here. And we can build a little counter area, I guess. Um, I probably should have had my quartz still, because I feel like the quartz would have been nice for the little counter. I'm going to break this right here. And put this over here for now. Um, I'm going to make a sign. Oh, this is going to be a colored sign. Are we on that update? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it is a colored. Okay, that might be kind of hard for people to read, but... Work in progress. Actually, let me... Lizzie's... Leaf. Oh my god, I can't leaf store work in progress okay there oh okay you can get it installed uh let's see how do i want to do this i do have some which one of these did i use for flooring I used the blue for flooring. So I'm going to make these into slabs. I know this isn't, <laughs> this isn't like a ton of work, but we can just uh, do this. Actually, I ought to do that just so people don't actually gently pick up what they're throwing over i'll have to set up hoppers back there of course um let's see is there anything else i want to do to this oh my eyes are burning why <laughs> i don't think there is um, I know I'm going to put carpet in here at some point. I don't think I have wool with me. I do not. But at some point, I'll add in carpet up here and down here. And I'm going to break this. And... You know what? I can use my candles. Oh, do they... Do I have to light them myself? Or do they light up? I don't know. I'll have to test them. But I'll do that. Just so it's lit up. I don't want anything to spawn in here. But I think that's about it for this. I know this one was like kind of short compared to everything else. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice and wonderful day. And bye!